Now, we're not quite in the same league as the US or the UK when it comes to the paparazzi, but there are still plenty of flash bulbs popping famous faces in Ireland. Showbiz.ie is the fourth biggest online site in the country with people logging on every day to see who's been caught by the photogs. Glenn met up with the man behind it all to find out who's hot and who's not. Over the past decade, this small island we live on has been a hideaway for many a Hollywood A-lister. Ray Senior, the man behind showbiz.ie, has captured it all and as a result has some great tales to tell. Since you started to now, how different has Ireland become? Because like, we have celebs coming in in their droves it now. It has changed to an extent that uh, we used to be able to take a photograph on a Tuesday and hold the photograph till a photograph till a Sunday. Now if we take a photograph on a Tuesday at 12 o'clock, it has to be on all the picture desks across the world by 12.01. And like big news, Britney Spears, you, of course, tell me the stories about her because you popped her once or twice, didn't you? Yeah, we got Britney Spears. Uh, one of the biggest selling photographs we had was Britney Spears when she came to Dublin and she, was, she had a private shop inside Brown Thomas and her face was covered in acne and of course those photographs went global. Wow, and um, she was with Kate Fad at the time, wasn't she? She just, had, uh, she just started dating Kate Fad at the time and she, she was having a secret affair in the, in the Westbury Hotel. Um, that particular time when she was in, we also got her in concert and her, her, her breast slipped out of her um, corset and we got that shot as well and this was back when virgin days oh, Britney, yeah, yeah. and she was still claiming to be a virgin. And who has made him the most money? So we put four days into photographing uh, Johnny Depp this year um, in the Clar at the Clarence Hotel. You know, Johnny Depp has only been photographed once before that this year, yet we didn't make very much money on that photograph. But we photographed a, a dog playing Lassie crossing Dame Street uh, for a remake of the Lassie movie there. And um, it was front page of the Washington Post, front page of the New York Times. Right. Tell me about Bono, because like he's a worldwide celeb. And of course, he's Irish. You've obviously made a bit of money on him. Well, you know, if it wasn't for Bono, there would be no show business in Ireland. Uh, and Bono and U2, they initially kicked it all off because they not only are they from Ireland and the biggest band in the world, but they also have a huge, huge group of friends who are big A-list name celebrities. And when U2 were throwing parties, you know, the likes of Helena Christensen, the Rolling Stones. Yeah, they brought all the stars they've into brought Ireland all the stars for years. In. So, and the Clarence Hotel was, you know, initially set up as a showbiz hotel, a place where all the friends to stay. With Bono, he understands how to play the media and he's very courteous to the paparazzi. And what about bad boy Colin Farrell? Yeah, the Colin Farrell phenomenon is another is phenomenon is a huge, a huge, huge, huge Irish success story. But the way Colin Farrell sold himself to the media was as a party boy. Unfortunately, now he's on the, he's on, he's trying to become a good boy now. He's given up the sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and his celebrity stock has dropped through the floor. Colin Farrell's mojo is gone. He, he hasn't got that same sparkle that he had, you know. After, I don't know since hitting, re, since hitting rehab and losing all the weight on that movie Triage, he just doesn't have the same vivacious sort of lust for life that he used to I have. I think he's just sober. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, I think back that's the drink, it. Huh? Who's the future? Who are you going to pop now in the next few well, weeks? Well, in the next few weeks, we have uh, Take That coming in. Mm. Take That celebrity stock has gone down. Always is our old news again. It's Liam Gallagher giving the fingers to the camera. It, it, seen it, it, it all it's, before. It, seen it all before. Again, we have Britney coming back in. That's going to be huge, huge pressure on us. But then we're also going to have the new expose presenter being uh, yeah. launched soon. So when that person finally does get picked, there's going to be a lot of celebrity stock there.